So today I'm in Waco, Texas. This city was named after a group of Native Americans that once lived here known as the Waco. And they were driven out of the area by a group of Cherokees in 1830. The town of Waco slowly developed during the 1840s and the town grew much more rapidly after 1870 when a suspension bridge was built over the Brazos River. The town was located on a branch of the Chisholm Trail and many cattle were driven through town. Waco was an important shipping center for cotton, wool, and hides, and by 1900, it was the sixth largest city in Texas. One of the features that I love about mid-sized cities like Waco are the historic brick buildings of downtown are right there front and center in full view. When you go to large cities like Dallas, Houston, Austin, all you see are modern skyscrapers of glass and steel, but not here in Waco. In my opinion, Waco has one of the top five most beautiful downtowns in Texas. My number one would have to go to San Antonio for its historical architecture and the river walk. So this is the 1910 Alico building, once the tallest in the entire state of Texas. So this gorgeous historic home houses the East Terrace Museum, originally built by John Wesley Mann in the year 1858. Wow, it even has its own storm cellar. So one of the great features of Waco are the bridges across the Brazos River. This is the Waco Suspension Bridge built in 1870 by John Wesley Mann who lived in the historic East Terrace house that we visited earlier. And he supplied the bricks for the construction of this bridge. Unfortunately under construction right now so we can't walk across it. So now we're at the Dr. Pepper Museum, the undisputed king of sodas in the state of Texas. Dr. Pepper was originally invented in Waco by Charles Alderton, an employee of Wade Morrison in 1885. Later in 1891, Sam Houston Prim opened the first Dr. Pepper bottling facility in the town of Dublin, Texas. Here's a nice timeline of sodas for you. As you can see, Dr. Pepper came one year before Coca-Cola. It's healthy, apparently.
So this historic home is the McCullough House, built in 1870 by Champ Carter McCullough. It is under construction right now, so there are no tours available at the moment. So right off I-35 is the Earl Napier Canard House. The first phase of the home was built in 1856 by John Earl. The second phase completed in 1868. Unfortunately, this museum is not open for tours at this time. This rather unique home is known as the Cottonland Castle. It is on private property, so I can't go in it or up close to it. Construction began in 1890, but it was not completed until 1913. And now we're at the Waco Mammoth National Monument. So from what I heard there at the visitor center, these mammoths are 65,000 years old. They're all inside this building right here. Look at those teeth. Wow. So it's more than just mammoths. It's actually a camel down there. So these were discovered just 43 years ago.